Hi everyone, it's Kelsey here. I'm really bored at home. <laughs> um, so I decided to make a video on my youngin' days. <laughs> my younger days. Um, probably till I'm in like first grade or something. And then I'll do first grade to fourth, fifth grade, and then I'll do fifth grade the sixth grade, and then I'll do my whole middle school years, and then I'll do like sixth grade to eighth grade, then I'll do uh, freshman to senior, and then I'll do, unless you guys want me to do it separately, it doesn't matter. I don't know much of my youngin' days, to be honest, I have no idea, um, but I was born May 12th to Glenn and Wendy. Um, I was actually born in a really big hospital in Olympia Fields and I've been living in the town that I live in for my whole life. Um, I've never moved um, and it's pretty exciting. Um, I've always lived in here so I kind of want to get out. <laughs> um, but when I was younger I was the only child for two years, and then my brother came along, um, because the doctors, my mom had a tumor, and they were supposed to have, like, it was precancerous tumor, and they said that if she wanted to have a baby right now, like, any more kids that she should get started. So they did, and my brother was born. June 6th. Um, happy birthday to me. <laughs> um, but I don't really remember, like, up until my brother was born. My mom always told me stories about how I was embarrassing and, um, and stuff. I would actually, I'm very, I was a very outspoken baby. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I would tell people they had boogers in their nose. I would tell my mom that people were fat. Um, <laughs> and I was a mall baby. I would love going to the mall and sit in my stroller and look at the clothing, sometimes steal stuff. I actually almost got my mom arrested because she thought that the police officer at the mall thought that <laughs> she was using me to steal stuff um, because I grabbed a pair of sunglasses off of the little stand without my mom looking and yeah she almost got arrested um, <laughs> yeah I've gotten my mom in quite a bit of trouble but skipping to when my brother was born, I was four years old at the time, so I was used to being an only child. Oh wait, no, I was two years old, sorry. Two years old, that's when my brother was two. Whoops. <laughs> but yeah, I was used to being an only child, and I was excited that there was a baby growing in my mom's tummy until he came home. And maybe I wanted a girl, like I wanted a sister, but I was really pissed off for about, like, mm, I think it was till I was four. Maybe not even. But my mom then decided because I would hit him, I would, um, I would purposely just take things away from him. Just because I said they were mine, even though they weren't mine. I was really mean. <laughs> um... But I think it was until my mom got me my baby doll. My baby alive baby doll, which is awesome. It peed, it pooped, um, and it took its bottle, and it would cry, and it was just fabulous. I remember having it, actually. It was the greatest thing I ever saw. Like, I loved it. I carried it around everywhere. Um, and so then... My mom, she was like, okay, you're going to feed your baby like I'm feeding Michael. And then I kind of got used to my brother being along, being, you know, here for the ride and enjoying life. <laughs> I do remember, though, I loved Barney. I loved the Wiggles. Um, not much the Wiggles, but, like, I don't know. Um, I 
And as I kind of grew up, I loved Barbies. They were my favorite toy to play with. Um, yeah, I see, like, I can't really remember anything. I lived on the same, like, I moved three times, four times in my lifetime now. Um, once when I was little and my mom got pregnant, I moved to a bigger house instead of an apartment. Because it was a two-bedroom apartment and I was able to live in there and then my mom got pregnant and so then they moved to a bigger house and I actually there is another story so my mom got me into watching TV when I was little because I wanted light in my room a lot of the time because I was I'm, I've always been scared of the dark actually to be honest I am still scared of the dark I can't sleep without a TV music something on um, but I had there was like this um, window that I had in my room I, it would open like that and I could look down into the playroom which actually my playroom had, well me and my brother's playroom, had a TV and it would be easy to get down there and well, not easy to get climb over the thing but I would go out of my room down the stairs to the playroom get a chair put on the TV run back upstairs before my mom would catch me which she caught me a lot and she would be like okay get back upstairs um, and go to bed and I would open the shutters <laughs> And then I would watch TV and fall asleep. That's what I would do. Every night, I would go downstairs or I'd make my mom, because my mom kind of got used to it. Like, okay, you want the TV on, let me do it for you. And, but yeah, I was really outgoing. I, I loved people. I still love people. Um, I love meeting new people. Um, I may be a little shy at times, but... You know, once they kind of, I kind of get to know them a little bit more, I'm outgoing as heck. Like, I will be crazy and sometimes a little naughty, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely I was so outgoing. Actually, a lot of people warned my mom that if I kept acting like this, I would easily get kidnapped because I would literally in the mall, I would say, hi, hi. Hi! I would just wave hi to everyone and say hi. It was the greatest thing. Um, I'll have to show you little baby pictures. They're, they're adorable. I, I loved myself when I was a little kid. Um, but yeah. Well, actually, I could probably show you kindergarten. I'd have to go get it. Which is over here. Because I have all my... I have all the way through maybe 8th grade, I think, but I have photos. Oh my goodness, I'm so ugly. I'm a little ugly. 2009. Wow, okay. But here is my kindergarten. I was so cute. <laughs> that was my kindergarten photo. Oh man, I was so freaking adorable. Um. Oh shoot, I don't know how my mom had these. <laughs> Looking through these, I remember all of these. First grade, I loved my ponytail. And I have a ponytail. I loved my. Yeah, I loved my hair and a half ponytail. Never learned to smile very well. That was the one weakness of mine. I never could smile unless someone made me laugh. <laughs> I'll show you. Oh, uh, yep, see? Never changed. Still in my half ponytail. I think one of these I get, I get actually, like, I got into the braids. I can't remember what grade I was. Oh, here it is. My third grade. Loved braids. Always had my mom do braids for me. Um... <laughs> Always had my mom do braids for my little thing. Um, I'll just show you up to fifth grade and I'll talk about it. Oh, half ponytail again. And I was, yeah, I was a cutie. Um, and then fifth grade. I looked ugly as hell. I love the little necklace. I do remember getting that shirt. 
Um, it was actually a... I thought it was the coolest freaking thing. Um, because the, the necklace would be attached to the, um, to the, to the shirt. Pretty cool. I thought it was, like, the coolest thing. Um, but anyway. So, through my kindergarten years, I was more... I was, well, actually before I kindergarten and stuff, I, um, I was very big into, like, cheerleading and stuff. Oh, crap, I don't know how to do this. Um, I was really big into cheerleading. Um, I did gymnastics for a couple of years, um, but then they put me on the rings when I was, like, two, and I was maybe, like, this tall. And they put me on the rings, which is basically, like, six feet off the ground. And my mom said, hell no, get my daughter down, we're leaving. Um, and so then I didn't know what to do. I tried ballet, but I couldn't do it because I wanted to do my own little thing. I would do, like, my little dance moves without doing the little dee 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 um so my mom took me out of ballet <laughs> I'm gonna scoot up closer um so then I found cheerleading cheerleading was like the my favorite thing for so many years um I actually did it um kindergarten skipped first grade because I missed the deadline or I didn't want to do it second third fourth fifth I did it and actually I did it till I was in eighth grade but um yeah I, w I remember I always had my little spider I had my spider which is my hair piece that I had to put my hair in a ponytail I would put it in a high ponytail and then it would attach to my hair so it would be like fake hair um, but yeah, I remember it so distinctly. My mom hated putting it on me. She hated it so much. And I remember you always had to have your nails clean. You always had to have them, like, clear. You can never have nail polish. Always had them short. Um, yeah, I was crazy. I remember cheerleading so much. Um, but yeah, I actually loved it. Even though I couldn't do the split, like I couldn't do the splits, I couldn't do cartwheels, I couldn't do handstands, I couldn't do any of those tricks that like other girls could do, um, because I was kind of chubby. I was chubby and tall. That was the thing. Don't understand it. Um, so I couldn't really flip myself over, even though so many years they tried to get me to do stuff. Um, I was a lot of the back spotter, which if you don't know what cheerleading positions are and you're a and you don't know what a back spotter is or any kind of well basically there's the two people uh, I can't remember their names now because I was never one of them uh but they lift the girl up like this I can't remember and the girl that's actually going up is a flyer and then the back spotter is basically behind her and you have to hold her little waist and you help pull her up and um, especially when you get higher and they are holding her by her ankles you will they hold her like this but you have to hold her by your by her ankles because you can't hurt get her uh, waist and it was so fun and I remember the one time my <laughs> the one time the flyer well actually it was my the spotters, that's what they're called. The spotters. They, like, let go of her for some reason. And I had to catch her because that is my job. If she falls, I have to catch her. Um, if she goes backward, anyway. And, because if, if she goes forward, then the front spotter has to catch her. Um, but she went backward, and I had to catch her, and she landed right on my nose, and I broke my nose. <laughs> Um, and I was scared to be a back spotter, and then, then my mom was like, well, this all, this doesn't happen all the time, you know, you did a really good thing, and my, and my coach actually made me do back spotting again before I could be totally afraid of it, and I never would do it again, because I was, like, the best on the team. It was amazing. 
Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all that I remember at the moment. Um, just because my life really revolved around cheerleading and stuff like that. But, well, my disability never came in, so never mind. My disability never really came in until I was, like, in sixth grade. But actually, I do remember another thing. <laughs> I went in speech class because I, I couldn't, like, comprehend reading which is actually the start of my disability. I couldn't comprehend what I'm what I was reading, so I would I would like not understand anything. Like I understood like words, but I never understood the story as a whole. Like you know, they would tell me to read a page and I would be like, "Okay, I'd read the page." Like Sally went to the park and she had fun and then her mom came and told her that she needed to go home and that, I don't know, I'm making up a story. But I wouldn't remember or I couldn't comprehend and if, like, the teacher asked me,